Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Assassin. Welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. So today we are doing something that a lot of people already smoked and kind of show off to me and I make me have to go get it and smoke it and and get it, right? So this is the Espinosa Sumatra today. And um, yeah, I bought this one online and I'm gonna, you know, I have to I have to try it because everybody's just smoking. It's like I want I need to know. I need to know. So let's get a quick look on this cigar. So this cigar is Robusto 5 by 52. The wrapper is Ecuadorian Sumatra. Binder and filler are both Nicaraguan. Um, it's made in the La Zona manufacturing factory thing. And um, obviously it's by Espinosa. I really like this purple color. This purple color shines, man. This purple color shows. The wrapper itself, no, uh, it's nice, smooth. Ish, I it would. It's not as smooth as I want it to be, but smooth ish. And the cap bothers me. The cap looks like it's about to fall off, but we'll see after we smoke it, right? So let's get started. Woo! All right. It's like a cedary with a little bit like grape or raisin or um. Like a fruity sweetness to it, a berry fruity sweetness to it that, that I can smell. Yeah, not a lot, but you know, you kind of get it. Could be a power of the suggestion. I saw now I just realized I've seen purple, might think grape. I don't know. Oh, that's not good. There's definitely a leak somewhere. We'll see. Somebody poke this thing. Joy is okay. Yeah. Tastes like wine. Like a wine barrel. Ooh, with some spice to it. Wine barrel with some spice to it. Alright. Let's get started. Almost there. Toast it up a little bit. Did I use it all? Kind of did. All right. Next. Why am I not need to? All the lighter, not one filled. <laughs> All right, ooh, it's really spicy, really peppery. Peppery, salty, woodsy, a little bit hay. All right. Not gonna lie, it kind of tastes like Espinosa Habano. Right now. <laughs> it's just very spicy. Very, very spicy. Ah. 
Yep, very spicy. Very spicy. It's gonna take me a little bit to taste anything before, like, you know, after this pepper goes down because right now it's just, it's woodsy, I can tell. It's a little bit of that saltiness, I can tell. It's a little bit of that, that, that you know, that Nicaraguan characteristic, but so much pepper that covers everything. Not surprised because it's Espinosa. They will just literally murder your nose. But some people love that. So. All right. Oh, a little bit barnyard too. I just taste a little bit barnyard. So, uh, let's smoke one third. And if I didn't die after that, we'll be right back. All right, we're at the first third. As you can see, burn a little funny, but nothing cannot be corrected easily. So, I just need to touch it up a little bit. Here we go. Get a lighter. Let me touch this up a little bit. So first third, basically that, I I first I thought it was barnyard, but that barnyard just turned into like a, a generic nuttiness, and a little bit woodsiness, and spice, right? Just a lot of spice in here. So you know, if obvious, obviously, if you smoke Espinosa, you're looking for the spice. So yeah, nothing wrong with that. Strength about medium. So uh, it's it's doable for those people who just you know start, but you have to be prepared for that. For that pepper. That pepper is strong. Yeah. Very generic. Toasted nuttiness. Because there is sometimes a saltiness to it. So like, you know, that, that make the flavor stronger and better, I guess. So far, very good. $11. I think we can get to there very easily. So, second third. Be right back. All right. I'm in the second third now. Done. Uh, into a third. But... In the process of removing this, or not this, 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 this happened. So, I can't blame them for this because Sumatra is a delicate wrapper. So it happened. I just want to make sure that you guys know that happens. It wasn't me trying to poke out, pick, pick anything out. I just take off the wrapper and the whole thing just black. So, medium strength still, woodsy, nutty, the whole way. Didn't change much for the second third. Still very enjoyable though. It's a pretty good cigar. So I will say so far I'm still enjoying it. I'm going to finish up. And then we go to summary because I think this has got to be a consistent cigar. Uh, the same same flavor throughout. Pepper died down a little bit, which makes it more enjoyable for me. So at this moment, if you got to ask me for $11, it's already there. I, I will give $11 for this. No problem. Um, but I will finish up the last third. See if it gets better. Be right back. Okay. We're done. Um, because the wrapper kind of unraveled, the last third really is lighter. Lighter. Um, but it's not unexpected. So I will say that's still good. And um, this is a cigar I can recommend some people to try. It is kind of one dimensional. But it's uh, if you like pepper, that's pretty much that. It's just a lot of pepper with some flavor that kind of goes with it. So you're going to... You gotta enjoy your pepper. And everything else is kinda like a condiment, right? Condiment. Not 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 crazy. There's very light notes, but pepper is always in the forefront. So you're gonna get a lot of pepper. So if you're enjoying pepper, this is the cigar for you. So now in terms of the price, we'll stay at eleven because it didn't it didn't give me anything different. It's pretty much the same the whole way. Um so eleven will will we'll do it. Eleven will do it because of the dimension. And uh, the enjoyment. Now it's medium, but it's like kind of medium plus ish. It's ramping up to there, but before it even got to a full medium plus, it kind of just died down. So you know, I can see how that's like a medium or, or like I wouldn't even call it a medium plus. Most people can smoke this cigar if you can handle pepper. All right, uh, the band purple. I love this purple. This purple really stands out. It's like a really nice purple, okay? Uh, the front, the font is kind of weird, and the band is hard to take it off. Whatever this cigar it was doing was was like really tight. It's really hard to take it off. And the silver, 
It does have some hologram effects. It's pretty good. I like it. Okay. Espinosa, Sumatra. Good coloring. Good coloring. Even though every time I see a Sumatra, usually it's like um like a off off brown color. Orange brown color ish thing. So but then again, some some broadleaf use that too. So I can see why they, they choose purple. Not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, I enjoyed it. So <sighs> Go enjoy one if you if you if you do find one. Uh, it's not that very it's not very hard to find. I hope hopefully this will be a regular production. Some people will like it. So it's like you're getting that spice without having to smoke it like a full habano kind of thing. And it's really spicy. So you get that. You get that. So that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Listen to our podcast. Why, why do I always have problem with this part? Like I say it every day, and I, yet I still have a problem with that. Yeah, so subscribe, comment, like, share, listen to our podcast, get our swag, join our membership, support us on Patreon, blah, 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 blah. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.